Alright, so in this video we're going to look at angular velocity. Uh, I'll have three different examples to do and I'll put each one of them in their own video. Alright, so for angular velocity it says if a point is in motion on a circle through an angle of alpha radians in time t then its angular velocity omega is defined by the angular velocity is equal to alpha over t. All right, so just to just to draw you a picture, if we have a circle here, okay, and and let's say that we have an object moving around the circle, and here's alpha, okay. So if this object's moving around the circle this angle here is changing okay and that's what angular velocity is it's how fast is that angle changing okay and uh, the angular velocity is given in radians per and then whatever unit of time radians per second radians per minute radians per hour Okay, just whatever they're asking for. All right, so let's take a look at our example. Just remember, angular velocity is just alpha over t. Here's alpha, and t is the time. <clears throat> All right, so it says, find the angular velocity in radians per second for a point on the edge of a 6.5 inch diameter record spinning at 45 revolutions per minute. All right, so just go ahead and write down your formula. The angular velocity is alpha over t. Okay, so I need alpha. All right, so for alpha, it's 45 revolutions per minute. So in one minute, it makes 45 revolutions. Now look at this. All right, so we have this we have this point out here, okay? And it's going around the circle, okay? So let's say it goes around the circle one time. Okay? What angle did that make? 360 degrees or 2 pi? Okay. If it goes around again, that's 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, 10 pi. Okay. Well, what we know is that alpha, in one minute, it goes around 45 times. So what's the total angle that it went in one minute? Well, each time it goes around, that's 2 pi radians, and it went around 45 times. So alpha is 2 pi times 45, and that is 90 pi. All right, there's alpha. And what time did it take it to do it in? Well, one minute. So omega, or the angular velocity, is alpha which is 90 pi over t which is one minute so that's 90 pi and that's radians per minute okay all right well notice what they asked us find the angular velocity in radians per second okay so what I usually do is I don't worry about what units they're asking for. I just go ahead and calculate everything based on the units they give me. And then once I get this answer here, then I convert it to what I, what they want. All right, so now we've got to take 90 pi radians per minute. So, so that's 90 pi, and that's radians per minute and I need to convert that to radians per second. All right, so 
well what do I need I need seconds down here okay because I need radians per second all right well we know that what one minute because see I got to cancel out the minutes is the same as 60 seconds okay and so what happens here is the minutes cancel and so I'm left with 90 pi radians over 60 seconds and if I do uh, 90 pi divided by 60 so that's 90 pi divided by 60 that is going to give me 4.7 I'm going to round it to one decimal okay so I did 90 pi divided by 60 and what is that that is radians per second and there's my solution so don't worry about converting all this stuff you know up here up here I think it's just easier to go ahead and calculate everything and you know in the units that they give you so here it is radians per minute well what do they want they want radians per second okay so I've got my radians per minute so now I'll just convert it all right so uh, check out the other two videos they'll be a little bit different uh, oh and one other thing I want to show you is you know you might be thinking about the uh, linear velocity well remember the linear velocity there's there's a couple of formulas but just to mention in this video it's the angular velocity times the radius okay the angular velocity time, velocity times the radius so you know we've got the angular velocity here so to find the linear velocity that's going to be the angular velocity which is 4.7 times the radius well here in this problem the radius is what 6.5 over what that's the diameter so that's over 2 so the 6.5 divided by 2 is 3.25 so that's my radius so that's 3.25 and then multiply that times 4.7 and that gives us 15.275 now what is that okay well look at this this is in seconds and our measurement is in inches so that would actually be inches per second so that would be the linear velocity okay I'll do some separate videos on linear velocity where you know we don't have the angular velocity but this is just a little extra in this video so you know if you have a problem if you if they give you a problem where they ask you to find the angular velocity and the linear velocity well once you find the angular velocity there's your formula for the linear velocity omega times r okay all right so i hope this video helped uh, give me a like share subscribe and thanks for watching